saving your pennies after budgeting. Yes, saving those extra dollars towards your emergency fund, taking a vacation, or whatever it is, it is all about budgeting and saving to fulfill our dreams. Before we get into today's video, I have to give thanks to the Almighty God for this wonderful day. And thank you team for subscribing to this channel. I'm feeling the love and appreciation. Just keep it coming. Remember to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I am truly excited about this journey and it is a heartfelt joy to have you as part of my journey. Today, I will be talking about creating a budget, especially for beginners. Guys, it can be overwhelming, but it is very important as you want to track all monies coming in and going out of your account. In this video, I will be showing you how to start a budget. I do hope that you will find it helpful. Let's bear these four points in mind in creating our budget. Step one, we'll define what is a budget. So a budget is basically a plan you write down. In the plan, you determine how you will spend your money each week, bi-weekly, or monthly. And this depends how you are paid. The plan shows how much money you make and the various expenses that you carry each month or bi-weekly. Personally, Having a budget helps me to have more control over my spending, keeps me in check, plus I can see where my money is going. Now, we will move to step two, and that is creating the budget. I will be creating a bi-weekly budget as this is our pay. If you are paid weekly or monthly, then you can follow the same steps. So there are some information that we will need such as our pay stubs and bills. If you do not have access to the bills right away, you can just create a list of the expenses you have. For my family, we have the same pay dates and that makes it easy to do our budgeting. I remember at one point we had different pay dates, so I would be paid for example this week, my husband next week, and so on. So in this case, I will do my budget weekly. If your family have different pay dates, no worries. Just create your budget based on how you are paid. I am truly humbled to share as much of my journey with you and to take you along. There are some things, however, I will keep confidential such as our income, and I ask for your understanding in this regard. As such, I will start my budget with the remaining balance after I have deducted mortgage, tithing, loan, auto loan, and insurance. I have also prepared a worksheet, and I will be filling in the numbers shortly. It is important also to use a calendar to lock your expenses so you don't miss them. I have placed a copy of the worksheet and the monthly calendar in the description box. Remember to hit the notification bell so you get notified when a video drops. Step 3 and 4 will be mentioned later in the video. Okay, so let's get started in creating our budget. So first thing I will do is update my calendar by entering the expenses on the dates they are due. As you can see, I have already updated my calendar and most of my expenses are going to be due towards the end of the month. It is also important to have a calendar when we are creating our budget. So now that my calendar has been updated, I will now move to creating our budget. So first thing I will do is enter the date. So I'm going to enter the date in which I was paid, January 14, 2022. 
and you can enter the date in which you were paid. The next thing that I will be doing, I will be entering my income. So I'm going to be entering my remaining balance. So my remaining balance is 1,477. So that amount has been entered. I will now go to the expenses and you can list all your expenses in one group. But for me, I will separate them into fixed and variable. So fixed expenses are pretty much um, those that carry the same amount from month to month. While for variable expenses, the amounts differ from month to month. So right now, I will go ahead and enter the amounts for my expenses. And these are the expenses that, um, that I carry. So my first expense is my utilities. I'm going to budget $225 for my utilities. Next is my cable, internet, and cell phone. And I just group those and my budget is 125 my next expense is debt payment which is my credit card so I'll just budget $85 for that one moving along to savings so we're saving towards our property tax and vacation so that's $200 and then the next expense, life insurance. So I'm going to budget, my budget for that is 106. So I'm going to now enter the amounts for my variable expenses. So for my grosses, that's 350. And then the gas for our vehicle, that's 140. There's a category called discretionary spending and this, that this is like personal care. So whatever the amount you feel is okay um, for your spending, then you can enter that amount. But for me, I'll leave that blank. So at this point, I am now going to add all my expenses to get my total. So I'm adding these up now. Okay, so my total expense um, is $1,231. And this takes us to step three, which is where I'm going to subtract my expense from my income. So that would be 1,477 minus 1,231. So the balance is going to be 246 so that's the balance that I have remaining now if your expenses exceed the income then you may need to look back at your expenses to see where you can make adjustments going forward so step four is planning for the extra amount because I have an extra 246 how do I plan for that extra amount so in planning for the extra amount, it can either go to debt payment, emergency savings, other types of savings, or sinking fund. And sinking funds are amounts one set aside to go towards a specific expense in the future. For example, towards Christmas gifts or car maintenance or even a vacation. So from the 246, I am going to channel 146 to debt payment and then I'm going to channel the remaining $100 to sinking fund. So the remaining amount is now zero. So this is what you would call a zero balance budget and this is where we account for every dollar of our income. So this is pretty much how I do my budget. I am able to see and track how every dollar is accounted for. So you can let me know how you did in creating your budget. I hope that this information was helpful 
and that you were able to follow along in creating your budget. If you have any questions or comments, please share them below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and see you next time on saving your pennies after budgeting. Bye.